Good morning, bonjour. or bonjour, <laughs> as the description and title and thumbnail probably tell you, we have left the UK and we've come to France for a little bit of a boat trip. Massive thank you to Le Boat for sorting this all out for us, but we've come to, we flew into Montpellier yesterday, arrived late on the boat last night, we actually spent a night on the boat already, mm -hmm. we'll give you a tour in a minute, we've just signed a load of paperwork, um, waiting for an introduction now because it is a bit of a beast as you'll come to learn. <laughs> <laughs> it's got bow thrusters, I'm really glad I've never used bow thrusters. It looks so nice though, it was meant to be rainy for the whole week so I brought like full on winter clothing and the weather forecast has changed and it's actually meant to be quite sunny and warm so <laughs> the gentleman that I was talking to who's going to come and do our introduction onto the boat in a minute actually says I hope you've got mosquito spray which I haven't so that's great so we're going to have to go do yeah. some shopping. He's on route, he's actually from Norfolk, he had, to, he had to put on like a bit of an accent before so people could understand if, <laughs> if we don't like because everyone meets and speaks English it seems like so there's a German couple signing in and the French lady was speaking English and the German couple was speaking English, happens a lot. So he's just doing like a neutral English, but we might yeah. get some Norfolk accent out of him. What well, is a Norfolk accent? It's not too strong, is I've it? I've never been to Norfolk, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I think he's on his way. He's got a beautiful dog. Memphis. Memphis. <laughs> Golden Retriever I'm staring at now. As soon as we went in the office, he was in there with his like belly out. And I asked the lady, what her, the lady behind the reception, she was like, oh, I've never seen him before. I was like, what? <laughs> just like some random dog, but yes, yeah, his dog. <laughs> so a brief history of Canal du Midi, France's longest, most famous and one of the oldest canals. Completed in 1694, over a hundred years before the Grand Union in England, with the aim of transporting goods from the Atlantic to the Mediterranean seas without having to navigate ships through Spanish territory facing hefty taxes. It's no coincidence the man able to pull this off, Pierre Paul Riquet, was a tax collector looking to make those taxes himself. After 12 years constructing the 150 mile canal, Pierre sadly died eight months prior to completion. As with most canals, railways eventually took over and since the 60s it's actually been enjoyed by thousands of leisure boaters like us. Right, so you've got a couple of fridges here. Yes. Okay. Big one. So you've got your big one, you've got your small one. So yep. you always say small one, nice for drinks. And use that one for the rest. <laughs> okay. The microwave here is permanently live. On this boat there's a power converter. Yeah. So when you're driving, when you're not driving, when you're plugged in, when you're not driving, plugged in. Yeah. Those 220 volts always are working. Oh, well. Always live. You've got a battery which is for the fridges. Okay, got a battery which is for the water pump and all the lights. You've got a battery as well which is for the heating and the air cooling system. Air cooling system which is just here. Okay. I don't think you're going to need the air cooling at, at the moment. But when you start the engine, you always get the warning sound. Mm -hmm. Over to preheat, give it about five seconds, and then away she goes. Oh, you just woke up your dog. <laughs> <laughs> right, you've got bow thrusters. Never used them before. You got stern thrusters. You got both at the same time. Parallel pouring piece That's of cake. So, why can we not have one on the boat? Do you know how easy that would be to more? Oh my god. <laughs> my dad, who's been on boats his entire life, yeah. uh, took him out on one of these. I uh, said, there you go, Dad. Yeah. Said, piece of cake. Yeah. Yeah. You need yeah. all that sort of stuff. I thought, dad, I was exactly the same. Yeah. But no. I'll come into a lot. <laughs> this oh. is straight across. Piece of cake, you'll have to move to there, move to there. That is amazing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Can we get that put on our boat? You can get, we, on narrow boats there's bowels, but I don't know about sterns, oh. but you could, I guess you could if you have money. Dreams. Yeah, you know. I say, you come into some of these uh, mooring spots, you see yeah. how many boats are in there, you know, you bit of reverse, zoom, 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 and then it just goes straight in there. I say, it is a lovely piece of equipment, yeah. Yeah. especially if you're in a tight area, you need to move, you do. Starboard, port, yeah. and it just switches around like so. <laughs> it is brilliant. I'm already on the pontoon, or if you're one with your next on the boat, just flash it through Hello. a little bit. Right, give it a little touch into forward. Yep. Are we going left? No, we're going to go up this way to start with. Okay. A little touch more. Okay. Start to spin that wheel around. Okay. And just remember, in a tight space, you yep. can just as well. Yeah. Help you around. Both thrusters to starboard. Stern thrusters to port. Crazy how tight that'll get around. What sort of speed would you recommend? Uh, okay. When we're in a port boats? like so, always nice and slowly. Like this. Just like so. Yeah. yeah. Or you can go a little touch faster if you like. I see, I see why people get, because you overcorrect it and then it... 
everybody at the beginning overcorrects. I always have a lot of people who've got their own boats, but obviously most of the time they've always got uh, sort of like 600 horsepower sitting on the back of the boat. Yeah. And start to counter react way in advance. Yeah, got you. So if you wait for the boat to react, then it's you it, react. Yeah. That's when the zigzagging happens. That's what I do on the boats too. Right, let's bring that boat to a full stop. Okay, all the way down, give it full throttle. Good, back into neutral. Okay, right. thrusters, help to spin that boat around. Yeah. Be right at the back, then. Okay, use the thrusters uh, just to spin up. That's it, and a little touch forward at the same time. You wouldn't be doing that with a narrow boat on no. there. <laughs> no chance. Be straight in there and then trying to... Yeah, yeah. try and hike. Yeah. Maybe end up down that river, I suppose. I'd say you got a nice, relaxing drive up to Bézier for today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Head to Bézier Centre. It's about four hours of cruising. Use your thrusters just to... Take the position. back in, yeah. yeah. That's it, yeah. How does that even work? Push thrusters. In, yeah, pushing water up. You've got... Uh, there's a little motor at yeah. the front, a little motor at the back, obviously set uh, sideways, and they just spin. Yeah. Okay, a little touch and traverse at the same yeah. time. So we've just done, or Joe's just um, tested driving it. By That's initiation, what yeah. call it. Um, and now we're free to roam, so we're going to head into Bazaire. 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 Where we got the train to yesterday. Yeah. Um, but we're just going to stock up some groceries and get some food in us because we're both starving. Yeah. And then we'll fill you in and give you a tour. Yeah. Can I sit by you? Yeah. How handy are they? Fucking wait, hang on. Give it's it like when you, like, when you had your company car and then we had Auto. hill start yeah. assist. What side of the canal are we meant to be on? The right, right side. Yeah. We can agree on that, but we can't agree on cars across the world. Crazy, isn't it? Right, so roughly straight now, so I go right a little bit. Bonjour. Just as a little side note, I had a look at the value of these boats, and brand new, they're 199,000 euros, by the way. Whee! <laughs> Just coming up to our first lock. See how these work. I've got a feeling they're going to be a bit more like the Thames ones, so they're manned. They have a an air lunch break <laughs> in the afternoon. <laughs> what a dream! <laughs> these bow thrusters are just going out straight parallel. <laughs> oh, I what wish the... Lady Pennybun had this. Lots of curve there. What side do you want me on? <laughs> <laughs> I panicked at the last minute trying to get over the back end that he hit. Didn't hit it though. We just popped to a local supermarket and grabbed some groceries, filled the shelves and all that business. Give you a tour of our boat. Woo! This is a Horizon 1, which is like a premium boat for a couple or although it will sleep four actually there's two cabins it's like 30 foot i reckon i haven't looked at the spec sheet it's like 30 foot it's about as wide as a wide beam for everyone back home it's about 12 foot i'd say there's actually a boarding deck on the stern but i didn't quite more in the right place 
So this is our living quarters. AKA the galley. The galley. So we've got a lovely little dining area where Joe's gonna do some editing later. Also got a um, gas stove with gas oven. Got a microwave, which is really handy. Water, it does say no drinking. We didn't actually bring any water to drink last night. Um, and we drank some after that, but the gentleman at La Boat says it is fine to drink. It just isn't the nicest down here. It's not um, recommended. Yeah, so we bought some more bottled water now, but we've been dehydrated all morning because we've been waiting to go to the shop. There's two fridges actually. So he says this one's more of a drinks fridge. We've got two local beers in there. We can do some wine tasting later, perhaps. And also a big fridge here, uh, which we've just got some bits in. Also a cool box, so it's like really handy if you were going upstairs onto the deck, the fun deck, <laughs> not the sun deck. More on that in a minute. That <laughs> um, you could take that up there uh, rather than coming and going. Uh, got a TV, haven't actually put that on, not really sure where the things are for that, but pretty cool. Some nice windows, just make sure that they're done up before we uh, moor up, obviously safety as it, as it is the same on our boat. Um, Joe can explain all of these fancy bits for you, but let me take you into the bedroom and these two rooms. I don't know if you'll fit us both in here. So this is the bathroom. We have a shower, we've got a toilet and we've got a sink. Um, this door closes and it also comes in, there's a door here in the main bedroom that goes into there as well, which is handy. Um, and I guess the same shape, size or width is you can't see me, but there's another bedroom there. There's a double bed there, which could be for children, guests, adults. So this is the boudoir, this is the main bedroom. I believe that this actually comes apart and goes along that side mm -hmm. of my right. So you can actually just have it more as another seating area. Uh, it's got lots of storage. You've got two big drawer things on either side. This one's Joe's, so it's obviously a bit more tidy, uh, which you could fit a lot in. Mm -hmm. um, Got some reading lights, which I still don't have on the narrow boat. A uh, nice mirror here, and you can close the door. And yeah, I really like the feature that you can use the bathroom without having to open that door if you had guests. Mm. It's quite fancy. Um, and the nice little skylight. Yeah, it's just really cozy in here. Do you like it? <laughs> so this has actually got two captain area. Oh, no, helm. It's got two helms. It's got you can switch it for the upper one. From, which is, gives you a bit more visibility, but if it's raining, you can come inside here, and this has got all the gauges and stuff. Um, the boat's actually got four bow thrusters, I think we said earlier, so you've got two at the front, two at the back, or two at the bow, two at the stern. Something I didn't know I needed. Crazy, so nice. <laughs> uh, battery banks, it's got, what do we say, three, well, it's back, there's literally an individual battery bank for the fridges, there's one for the house, General Electric says one for the starter battery, and there's one for something else, I think, it's like four separate batteries. Wow. Look at them, one, two, three, four, eight. There we are, nothing to see here. <laughs> it's got a diesel heater installed, which goes throughout the entire boat, I really don't think we're gonna need that, which is nice to know that it's got it. It's got air conditioning, again, it's on the border of being just sort of comfortable wouldn't you yeah. say? Yeah so it's sort of like three levels on this boat so there's the house area then there's this one which goes all the way around which is sort of on um, in order to do some of the ropes and stuff when you go into the locks or if you're mooring up so it goes all the way around like this and again more seating area which I haven't actually sat on yet but it looks like a very good spot to be able to watch the world go by and when you're moving up there what do you think? got handrails if you feel like they're needed they probably are needed you get a better idea of how big the boat is up here I've, I've read it as fun deck but this is actually the sun deck which makes more <laughs> sense but we're going to call it the fun deck we've also got a barbecue or is it a hot plate kind of thing i think it's more of a hot plate but yeah. looks good um so Sun there's a sink. Oh yeah, up a sink. Nice. Right. More seat area. We've got a sunshade. I thought this was a rain cover, but obviously we're not in England, we're in the south of France, so sunshade. Um, this pulls up and goes down, but none of the bridges. Um, this wouldn't fit under any of the bridges, so 
better off leaving it down. We're going to get a move on. So we've got one more lot to do today into the city or town of Bezirs. Bezir? City town. Bezir town. We're going to go there. The locks are all manned and I believe they close at five o'clock. Is that right? Four, I've got an hour. Should be okay. Let's go. I will steer it from in here one day. I'm sure it will rain at some point. There are glow plugs on. Couple seconds. It's not like an old BMC like on a narrowboat. It probably would fire straight over anyway. Who do we think we are, mate? <laughs> South of France. Woo! On a yacht. On a yacht. River yacht. River yacht. How are you finding it? Yeah, sometimes it goes zigzag. <laughs> and I don't know why. you tell me to turn it a little bit and wait a couple seconds but by the time I do that I need to turn quick and then I turn quick again and then <laughs> before you know it we're doing this along the canal for the night. right that's us moored I'm just Getting dinner on the go. We're going to save eating out, although we'd love to eat out every I night. I'd love to eat out every night. <laughs> uh, we're just going to cook some pasta. I know it's not really French and all that, but we're saving. I'm going to do French onion soup one evening. And we've also got a cheese that the guy from the boat recommended. And there's a cheese which is seasonal, which is called Mondor. Yeah, M O N T. Are we in season or out of season? Uh, we're now in season. It's it's a, it it's, a, it's a I'll get you to write it down in that It's a winter cheese called Mont d'Or. Is or that Mont the seasonal one? This, yeah. Hang on, I'm going to Google about it after actually. So it's all condensated, so you can't really tell, but in here is a massive block of sort of what looks like camembert. Most people would know camembert. Um, you can't really smell it, but he I, says... I'm going to tell you it's smelly. It, it yeah, it's it. yeah, it's definitely smelly. It's a... Um, protected area so I'm going to google some more into it but he says I don't know how traditional this is so don't like come at me if this is like absolute sacrilege to do but he bakes it he bakes it for a good 40 minutes takes the top off puts some white wine in it stirs it bakes it again he says sometimes he dips um like roast potatoes in it and other times when he's feeling really greedy he pours it over a steak so we have got the steak and we are going to pour it over and try it um, That's one at meal. some point. Yeah, one meal. I also fancy, I know you said French onion soup, but I might buy some more onions and make a French onion pasta dish. Like French onion soup with cream pasta. Just because we love pasta. Yeah. Can't eat bread every day. We said earlier in the supermarkets, we've noticed the crossover between, we're very close to yeah. Andorra, very yeah. close to Spain, there's a lot of Spanish yeah. things in the supermarkets. Yeah, so it's more like, sort of, sometimes when you're in France or even in Italy, like if you're, you know, Europe's very close, you can go through a lot of countries in one day, like sometimes when we went um, down the bottom of France, they had a lot of Italian food, if that's the way we're heading here, it seems like they've got a lot of um, Spanish food because we're closer to there, I don't know what food Andorra does. That's a tiny, tiny little country. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Um, but yeah, lots of Spanish food. So it's just a shame we've got hand luggage, so we can't really bring too much back, um, if any at all. But yeah, really looking forward to a couple of meals we've got planned, but we will eat out, I'm sure. Ooh, thank you. So simple. So simple. Oh, it storm's a bit oily, I thought. First meal on the boat. On the boat. Where am I for? Thank you very much.
Good morning. Gonna head a bit closer into Bizerre today, explore that, and then we've got a beautiful aqueduct bridge over the river and a flight of seven locks. I can't remember what they're called. Yeah, we've got two locks into Bizerre and then, yeah, go to explore that. Find coffee somewhere. The uh, French lock keepers work on French time. They wait quite a while just to see if any other boats are coming whilst the lock's um, filled. So, I mean, it's probably better for the planet, but we had to wait, so I did a little coffee in the meantime. Oh, it sounds like Cane Hill. Not quite as bad. Canal de Midi's equivalent. We were just saying that, imagine this in peak summer, so we are mid-October now. Mm. Mid-October and it is scorching, although I've got jeans on. Scorching, I can't imagine it. So warm down there. Just noticed a guy in front who picked his boat up at the same time. Got a Hell's Angels t-shirt on. Won't be ramming his boat. Basically we're in two locks are open and we're in, they've like combined them, it's quite funny, it's like seven locks but so many gates within a certain thing, not like a traditional normal lock. I think there's some in England like that actually. Opening the next lock gate before the water's even at the level, it's crazy. Getting more and more beautiful. I think it's the Pyrenees. Pyrenees, yeah. Pyrenees mountains um, in the distance with lots of vineyards in between. Just, yeah, absolutely beautiful. And it's really sunny, which not dressed for the occasion. No, I need to go put some shorts on in a minute. <laughs> the only shorts I brought were leopard print ones, so I didn't really think that through. Yeah. That was close. <laughs> I nearly pulled it. Left hand side. Port side. We've got a tunnel coming up. Malpass tunnel, I think. Yeah, Malpass. Tunnel, tunnel du Malpass. Murdering my French as usual. Uh, couldn't tell you how long it is. We'll find out. <laughs> I don't know if there's any lights though. There are some lights, might have to go down inside and flick them on, but uh, it's only a one way tunnel. So we'll have to, there's two boats that we shared the locks with going through now anyway, so we should be able to just trailing behind them. We see them go in, we go in. Oh, come on now. <laughs> right. There's a bridge. <laughs> Northwich. Northwich. Oh, Norwich, is it? No. Northwich. Northwich. Is that a CIT number on it still? Yeah. Lost. And he's got a yeah, roof. Yeah, <laughs>
turn that puppy off. That was a shift, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. Wearing jeans. Wearing jeans, pair of us. Rookies. You said it was going to rain today. Yeah, it was many. Don't listen to the weather forecast. Six and a half hours later. So, it's actually now 20 past seven. We didn't go out and explore the town. We just had a nice little afternoon listening to podcasts, cooking. Joe's made French onion soup for tomorrow. And we also had the steak and that cheese. I think we've Mondor, explained the cheese. Yeah. Mondor is like a seasonal cheese. And it's essentially a milder camembert, but really tasty. Mm. Just less sickly, less thick. But we did put uh, white wine in it, which is what mm. the recipe suggests. So maybe if you did that with camembert, it wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, that's true. But we're going to go look around now. We might try and look around again tomorrow. Um, with the camera, but we will show you some shots on our phone. We're um, uh, going to pop out to something you found. Yeah, a little local microbrewery, uh, which looks really cute. There's some nice restaurants and stuff, but now we've eaten, I don't really want to be tempted by more food. So we're going to yeah, just go out for a beer, and then we've got a really exciting long day ahead of us tomorrow with lots of different activities, and I'm very excited. So yeah, see you in the morning. <laughs> Have you drank my wine? Yes, I did steal Danny's wine. <laughs> Just back in England now, I'm editing out the video. We've got too much footage for one, so keep an eye out for part two, where we'll continue our journey onto Carcassonne. We started off in Port Cassafiers, if you're wondering. Massive thank you to Le Boat for sorting this all out for us. We honestly had an amazing week. If you're looking for a boating holiday next year, I know a lot of you rent narrow boats and stuff in England. Price-wise, that was very much comparable. I think it was 1,800 quid um, for seven nights or for the seven days. That's including the one-way trip from Cassafier, Port Casafiers to Carcassonne. <laughs> I forgot already. The season finishes up literally today. I'm filming this on the 31st of October. Um, opens back up on the 1st of April and then goes until the 31st of October. So April the 1st, 2024 till 31st of October 2024. I'll leave a link to Le Boat in our description and pinned comment if you've gone to have a look. They do trips all over Europe, so other ones in France, Germany, Netherlands, right the way across to Canada and also in London on the Thames. But we've already sort of done that. <laughs> Thank you so much to our patrons and I'll see you next week. Thanks to both.